Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Lee Black of Foreston, Illinois first caught the fever back in 1978, and ever since, those around him have been squawking. Tucked away in and around the Black Farm, you'll find such classics as the Intercontinental, Rock All, and look, there's Lee's first tractor, the Lear Big Boy. I had an old guy that I did some work for him, and then he got in bad shape financially, and he wanted to make it right with me, and I said, well, what are you going to do with that old tractor there? And he said, you can have that, Lee, and we'll call it even, and that was the Lear Big Boy, and it more or less developed from that. Well, I have about 20 other, I always called them oddball, orphan tractors, and then Ed changed my terminology to lesser known. Ed is the late Ed Spies of Rock Island, Illinois, a well-known collector of the lesser known tractors. In fact, it was Ed Spies that helped Lee positively identify this odd, um, I, I mean lesser known, classic tractor. I acquired this tractor back in about 1984. I had a friend of mine that runs a junkyard. He said uh, that he thought he had an International H with a diesel motor in it. So uh, I was thinking that maybe he had an H with a Shepard conversion. So I went over, looked at it, and it was nothing that I had seen before. I went through the tractor encyclopedia, and then I came across the picture of what I thought it was, and I called Ed Spees and described it to him, and he told me that it was a long. A 1948 Long Model A, to be exact, made by the Long Manufacturing Company in Tarboro, North Carolina, the two-plow tractor had 26 horsepower at the drawbar and was powered by a 162 cubic inch Continental engine. It featured four forward speeds and reverse, and the rear wheels could be adjusted from 54 to 86 inches, making it an ideal tractor for cultivating and an ideal tractor to add to Lee Black's collection. Uh, I probably have about 25 to 30 lesser knowns right now. I farm and work second shift at a tire factory, so everything I get is pretty well long-term project. It probably took me seven years to get this one done. Yeah, I pretty well have a passion for things that nobody else has. And there's good reason for Lee's passion for the lesser known classics. You can go to a show and People come to look at your tractors first because they've never seen it before and you'll have a spot worn around your tractor in the grass and the John Deere's and that they walk right on by. But Lee's passion for these tractors of days gone by isn't shared by everyone in the family. I've got a wife and four daughters and when it comes to the weekends they go shopping and I was never much in that so I just stay home and work with my tractors. They do their thing and I do mine. While the bright orange 1948 Long Model A has a warm spot in Lee's heart, it's another lesser known that's Lee's favorite. Uh, probably my favorite tractor is the K-Wood that I purchased at the Ed Spee's sale. Boy, I wish we had time to see more of the K-Wood. It looks like another classic tractor. <laughs>